guess a prep table here that they said is not uh, doing anything. They left it plugged in, so it's been running. And so we're gonna find out is it low in the refrigerant or what's going on? We got a leak. Is it just really old and packed full of crud? So let's tear into it and see what we got. First thing I feel is a lot of heat in here. It's probably the fan running. With that be an insulated box. It keeps the heat in as well as keeping it out. It looks like it's had better days. And this one's pressure controlled for temperature, which I think. Yeah, there the compressor just clicked. Probably isn't feeling very good. Yeah, it went off on thermal. So we're going to check uh, the start components first thing. Use your ears along with your eyes. As you can see, this thing is just... It's been beaten. Yeah, that doesn't look very good. We'll go ahead and check it, but I about guarantee you it's toast. That's really surprising. But it's out of tolerance. Usually I'll go ahead and check for leaks because I already know this thing's in bad shape. So we got a leaking evaporator on top of a compressor that's probably about half toasted and the condenser is plugged full of grease and it's been left to run cycling off a of thermal overload now for a while. So I didn't have quite a big enough capacitor so I grabbed Annie just in case. I got something to at least partially probably get them by but Annie's going to have to give her a shot first. There's a good chance that that start relay might be toast and then blow out my new capacitor that I'm just testing it with so I'm gonna give it an old shake test and see if it moves back and forth felt kind of loose so it's moving back and forth I'm just gonna go ahead and hook directly to the terminals there and see how she's doing I'll check for grounds first these are actually a pretty decent unit I know some of the pizza huts and a few others use them they actually have a dedicated evaporator for the top rail and a dedicated one for the bottom uh, box area, which makes it do a lot better job than what most of them do when they try to do it with one. So, I mean, they're a decent unit. I don't care for the pressure control, for the temperature control. That's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. All right, so we had 8.4 and 1 point something. So it's not short of the ground. <clears throat> your higher resistance is your start terminal. So we get Annie out here. She's been sleeping a little bit ever since I blew up my resistance gauge here, which I never used it anyway. It's not the most accurate thing in the world, but I only bought her to start up compressors and make sure they're working. That was the only real reason for it. So we'll go ahead and get the amp meter on high. Voltmeter on low, capacitor's already on my 250 to 380, we're ready to go as soon as we get her plugged in. Alright, got all the terminals on there. Go ahead and get her plugged in. I found out the hard way, this does get live when it's energized. So I got zapped. Now I make sure I don't leave it even close to possibly a place to... Wow, that's loose as a goose. So we're gonna push down our start. Then we'll flip her on. And she didn't start. You can watch the amp meter go high. So capacitors as high as it goes. Putting in your start circuit. Boom, amperage is almost 25 amps. So it's stuck. So what it's probably done is it's cycled multiple times over and over. Now we can try going reverse. It's the same way. We'll rock it. And it didn't do nothing. What you'll do a lot of times is you can sit there and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But the compressor's junk. 
Hey, we've got a compressor. He's already said he doesn't want to sink a crap load of money into this thing. It's in really rough shape. You've got a leaking evaporator, so compressor, evaporator. Probably have other leaks, I wouldn't doubt. So is it worth it? No, it's not, in my opinion, but that's all up to them. So I'm going to try it for giggles, just to see if I can break it loose. Other than that, this one's probably done. You can see she shook one direction. She'd shake the other. She's locked up. So anyhow, it's uh, she's toast. She is a toasty critter. So go ahead and let that discharge. We're back all back to off. That way there's no accidentals. Properly remove our terminals. But this compressor is toast. Get the butter out. She's done. All right, went ahead and disconnected the compressor. Fire nutted it off. That way if somebody comes in and doesn't know what's going on, tries to plug it in, we don't have any shorts. But that, uh, that's going to wrap this one up here. Got to call the customer and tell them the great news and uh, let them figure out what they want to do next. <laughs>